Hey there guys, uh, it's time for another China, how it is. Um, today is August the 17th, it's my birthday today. So uh, I'm going to go out and celebrate with my friends. Give me a second to change gears. I'm uh, going to the petrol station here. Um, and that should be quite a lot of fun, so I'll make a video about that too. Anyway, our, um, yeah, all right, I see you, thank you. Our topic for this China how it is is banks and ATMs. Anyhow, Jiao San Jia Man. All right, so banks and ATMs is going to be our uh, topic for for today. Uh, let me talk about banks first. Uh, just a quick one. Banks are very convenient, very easy to open an account. In fact, probably the easiest. Uh, account I've ever opened in the world is here. Um, now, let me go through that process before I continue um, talking about anything else. First of all, um, opening a bank account depends on the bank, but uh, for instance, the first bank account I opened in 2006, I opened at um, China Construction Bank, which is probably my favorite bank as far as uh, least amount of hassle is concerned. So I opened a, an account at the China Construction Bank. All I needed was my passport. I walked in, filled out a form, you know, handed it in, um, and five minutes later they gave me my card. It was just like that. I had to put give them 20 renminbi, which um, then they proceeded to deposit into the account anyway. So um, it was basically free. And uh, service charges, none as far as I could ever see. They don't seem to charge you anything um, for withdrawals, deposits, anything like that, which is great. So um, that was really easy. Now, <clears throat> when I opened an account at the ICBC bank in uh, Shenzhen, they required a temporary residence permit. Remember I showed you in the visa video. If you haven't seen the visa video, if you want to see it, I'll put a link right about here. Anyway. <clears throat> In uh, the ICBC, they needed that temporary residence card and, uh, sorry, form. That was it. And my passport. That was it. Yeah, done. All right, total 260 renminbi to fill the tank. And it was bone dry. You know, absolutely bone dry. Anyway, uh, let's go pay for this. I'm paying with my card. It's kind of, I uh, wanted to show you guys this. Just like uh, every other country, you can use your bank card as a debit card. Yeah. Uh, Well, as you could see, I hope, anyway, that was fairly painless. Um, I just paid with my debit card. Oh, where is she gone now? Hey, ha. Oh, boy, she's here. Okay. I'll explain to you guys in a in a second. Just give me give me a minute here. All right. Okay. So as you can see, very simple, straightforward. You can pay with your card, your debit card, in most supermarkets um, and any any sort of legitimate shop. You know, as in a I don't know like a Starbucks or something, or a um, big chain of something. Of course, all these little pikey shops and little pikey restaurants, forget about it. But if it's a sort of a big legitimate affair, no problem, you can use your China bank uh, card as a debit card. And they are union pay cards, so you can use them overseas too, to uh, draw from the ATMs, I've tried. And it does, does work, you know. In Hong Kong, I can draw money, no problem, up to 10,000 a day usually. And that's on your, it depends on your bank, you know, you can uh, specify that. Let 
me quickly talk to you about China and credit cards for a minute here. Now, credit cards are currently becoming more and more popular, it's true. However, there's still not many places that you can use credit cards. Um, you can use credit cards in very upmarket shopping malls and um, maybe in some big chains and uh, hotels, things like that. But forget about using them in a, in a small shop or a small restaurant or whatever, it's just not going to happen. Um, in fact, credit is something that's not very popular in China. You know, Chinese people don't like credit. Credit, they're they're all about saving money, which is, you know, something I really um, admire and appreciate. Uh, so the levels of debt in China are very low, um, and that's also why I can live a completely debt-free existence here. Because you know, the cost of living is so low, you can pretty much save most of your earnings, which is what people do here, um, and. You don't need to have a credit card, you don't need to have any debt, which is fantastic. Right, here we have the ICBC Bank, um, which is a very famous bank around here as well. Right, HSBC also has a presence here in China, but on the mainland. However, uh, it's not like you can just open an account. HSBC is like a... Um, I can't remember, like Hong Kong Shanghai Bank or something, whatever it is, it's... It's incredibly expensive. You can only open an account if you've got like 50,000 uh, RMB or something. It's, a normal person can't get an account there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and show you how to deposit money into the ATMs. Now, um, this is probably works the same in some other countries. Uh, I'm not sure. All I know is that in South Africa, if you want to deposit cash into an ATM, it's like you have to use envelopes and all sorts of weird stuff and then it takes X amount of working days before it's reflected. Uh, here in China, it's just a simple, simple thing to do. I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. Silly, noisy girl. Anyway, um, this is the China Construction Bank. This is a very good bank, actually. I'd suggest to you to open an account here. I opened my first account at the construction bank and uh, I've had it for years. Uh, almost no service fees at all, very easy to set up. I didn't need a, uh, what you may call it, a residence permit, but I did need to know my address to write it down. But uh, the, the people inside are very helpful, they will help you to fill out the forms, but you're going to need to know a little bit of Chinese, or just take someone who is a Chinese speaker with you. So China Construction Bank is a good one. Alright, here we have a Bank of China. Now, um, most of you probably think that this is the wise choice. You know, Bank of China must be the best one. It is the biggest bank, yes, but it's actually the worst bank to choose to open an account, I'll be honest. I have a Bank of China account and, uh, you know, their fees are higher than anyone else and it's just a pain in the ass to open an account. I'd say give this one a skip. Okay, it's bloody raining again. Anyway, I wanted to show you this bank. This is my favorite bank, I guess. Um, this and Construction Bank, China Merchants Bank. And this is where I'm going to go and make a cash deposit and uh, show you how it works. What you need to look for is you need to see it says CRS and it's raining, which means cash recycling, uh, I don't know, something like that. Okay, as you can see, it's all very, very high tech, very cool. Um, and you can see it's got English and Chinese. I'm going to just find my card. Okay, now give me a second. All right, as you know, it's a straightforward put your card in, usual stuff, okay? And then uh, put your PIN code in. Wait for it to pop up. Now, when you're depositing money, yes, yes. Uh, right, so you can do withdrawal, you can do a transfer, but I want to do deposit, okay? Okay, it says only 100 yuan, so you can only put 100 yuan bills. Now this is something you're going to have to get used to. You can only deposit hundreds, you can only withdraw hundreds. Okay, confirm. So now, so you see I put it in there, now it's going to do a little count. Okay, transaction in progress, please wait. This tells you the amount and you say continue means if you want to add more notes. I just want to go okay. So it says, please choose where. I'm going to put it into my savings account, right? Okay. Now it's busy doing that. 
Come on. Okay. So there it's like tells you the amount and all that. So you just say confirm. Do you need a, the customer advice, which means a slip? Yeah, why not? I need a slip. Printing, please wait. Okay, here it comes. Tells me that's the amount that I put in there, 100 yuan, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now I'm going to say continue because I want to draw some money. Withdrawal. Yes, I'm having withdrawal symptoms. And let's just say, you know, you can put other amounts, but I'm just going to go for 200. Transaction in progress, please wait. Dispensing, do not leave. Okay. So what will happen is... Yeah. There we go. 200 bucks. Okay, withdrawal's been successful. Confirm. Okay. I don't need a slip for that. Okay, yes, continue. All right, so hopefully that uh, answers all your questions about ATMs, etc. And I uh, hope you found it useful. Here's another famous bank, the Agricultural Bank of China, ABC. I have a couple of friends who've got uh, accounts there. It seems pretty decent, straightforward, no big problems. There's, there's another big bank which I don't actually have any experience with. It's called the Ping An Bank, which means safety, I guess. Um, and apparently it's really good too. Oh, this weather's terrible, and I'm, I'm here on my little e-bike. Uh, this isn't sweat, it's rain. Um, anyway, to sum up, in order to open a bank account, you're going to need your passport, and uh, most probably the temporary residence uh, permit thing that I showed you in the visa video. So make sure you got the two of those things, and you'll be fine. Uh, fairly straightforward, fill out a form, hand it in at the teller, uh, about 15 minutes in total I guess 15 to 20 minutes for the whole process and you'll have your card um, and then you can buy things use, use a debit card you can deposit at the ATMs withdraw at the ATMs you can transfer your rent at the ATMs in fact you never need to go into the bank ever again which is wonderful you know um, in South Africa it's completely different every time you want to do a transfer you kind of have to go in there and stand in queues if you want to draw money or deposit money it's always a pain in the ass it's not as convenient so uh, banking in China is very convenient. The fees are next to nothing. By the way, the Merchants Bank, the one I showed you where I deposited, when I set mine up, they set up internet banking for me. Um, there's no, no charge as far as I know for that. And it works really well. They've got English as well. So I can go online, check my balance, do transfers if I want online. Um, it's really convenient. So banking in China, absolutely wonderful, very easy, very safe, very straightforward.